everyone and welcome to my channel smile there's wine Emily here hope you guys are doing fabulous out there today there's not wine I am working on a smoothie trying to work off some of those LBs oh it's been hard summer you guys I have been camping every weekend it's been amazing like this right here this is a lot for me <laughs> to even get my hair done and throw some makeup on um, because it has been just a busy summer already full of a lot of fun so I need to try to be good during the week and have my smoothies um, but don't worry the weekends are full of some delicious wine and hopefully your weekends are going well um, in this summertime so as you noticed in the thumbnail today, I'm going to be doing opening my latest Natalie Attired. I'm very excited. What's one thing that's really cool about Natalie Attired is you can't cheat. You don't know what they're gonna send you. With Stitch Fix, you can look at your preview. Um, other other companies um, send you a preview as well sometimes, um, but you just, you don't know what you're getting with them. So I'm excited to jump into this with you. Before I do though, I would like to just ask you guys a few questions. You guys are so amazing about leaving me comments below and I'm really trying to make my channel better here for you guys. Um, and so I have two questions and hopefully you guys can comment below and let me know. Um, first question is, sometimes my videos are fuzzy and I've been getting a little feedback about that, which I love. Thank you guys so much. I want to make the best videos for you guys. Um, I don't always use a filter, but sometimes I do just when like the lighting is bad or if it's a different time of day, um, sometimes I will use a filter, but I'm also wondering if it could be something else. I record my, um, my show here, <laughs> smile, there's wine on my phone. So it's not anything too fancy. Maybe I need to upgrade there. Um, and then I upload it into a program. So I'm not sure if it's something to do with that. And then I upload it onto YouTube. And so sometimes um, when I put it then onto YouTube, sometimes like my last video, my last Stitch Fix one, it took three hours to upload into YouTube. So I don't know <clears throat> why that is. I also live in the country and our internet is really bad out here. So I'm going to play around with some things and I just want to know from you guys if it's still looking fuzzy on your end. I've asked a few friends that watch my videos and they're like, no, it looks fine. Um, but I know you guys are really good about... <clears throat> you know, watching it and analyzing it and definitely give me that feedback. So I want to fix that problem. So let me know below. Is this video fuzzy? Does it seem like there's a filter on it? My second question is I have been doing a lot of like cleaning things out when you're a teacher, like summertime, you clean and organize and you, you do that kind of stuff because you put it off all year long. Um, so I have been cleaning out rooms and I have found a bunch of electronics, like old computers, old cell phones, um, I literally have my pink Dell computer from college. It weighs like more than my firstborn child. <laughs> it's huge. But um, I don't know what to do with that. So my question is, what do you do with old electronics? I am I want to recycle them somehow. I have heard, I heard this a long time ago, not sure if it's true. You could take all of it into Staples or something like that and or maybe um, Office Depot and they would recycle it responsibly for you. So if you guys have any info on that, please let me know below. Okay, thank you so much for helping me with those things. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Let's go ahead and jump on in to this Natalie Attired. Natalie Attired is really fun, you guys. Um, it's a smaller base company. It is a lot like Stitch Fix where it's a clothing subscription. I usually get it every other month. Um, I do have to say I got it back in February and I was not happy with it at all. I was just the quality, the styling. I was like, I'm yeah, no. So then I waited and I got another one around May. I want to say it was probably around May and it was so good. So good. It was a five out of five. You can find that video also below. Um, and I was like, you know what, it's so good. I'm going to order another one. So I jumped right in there. So sometimes you will find that with different companies. Um, same thing has happened with me with Stitch Fix many times. <laughs> uh, Fashion many times. So I think if it happens to you, just know that's it's going to happen, right? Sometimes you're going to get those misses. Um, but hopefully today we have a hit. All right, so let's go ahead and do my favorite little part here and check out this bundle. It's a very little bundle. That's fine. Summer gets really warm here. And so it just looks like some fun little white colors. Well, I think I know what this is, but we shall see. This might be that um, black and white top with the embroidery on top. 
because I watch the videos too. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and look at the cute little sticker. Da -da -da. It's the same type of thing where you do a $20 styling fee and they do have a really good, and that anything you keep, that $20 will be applied towards, so you definitely want to keep one thing. Um, they have a really great discount program, though. Keep three or four items, get 20% 20, 20 off, and keep all five, get 30% off. I think they have the highest percentage discount of keeping all. I am excited. Also, um, I have a referral link. So if you haven't tried Natalie Attired and you're not having success with the other companies, and you see something in here and you're like, that is super cute. You can definitely use my referral link below. It will earn you a $25 a dollar credit. Woo -woo! And um, that will be exciting for you. Um, and hopefully you'll get some super cute things. And I think since it's such a small company, you can request these items. Um, if you see something that you like and they would probably be able to get that to you. So great service there. Not going to look at pricing. Um bag to ship everything back in or ship whatever you don't want back in. Okay. Have I talked a lot? Sorry. It happens. Okay. Let's check out this first little thing. It's very light. Almost feels like a scarf. I think it's a kimono. It says kimono. What is the name? What is the name? It is um, very cute. I have two kimonos, both floral print. I really like that this is not floral. It's kind of just abstract. The blue, I like that it's light in color. I cannot find a tag on this pumpkin. I don't know what's going on here. It has, it almost is kind of like even a bathing suit cover up because it's so light. I'm getting there. What's going on? Okay, it has kind of like just a little stitching right here under the sleeve. You see that? And then it opens up. So not anything like not too much fabric going on here. Very light piece, but I appreciate that. I live here in Northern California and it is hot, you guys. It's already been like weeks of over 100 degrees. I know it's not Arizona, it's not Nevada, but it's hot. Hot for me. Um, so this just says B Kimono and it is $29. I saw the price tag, so I'll just tell you what it is. Super cute. Um, next thing is by a company called Cotton Blue and has this cute little perforated. Did I say that right? Cutouts. I think I've seen this on someone too. And it's just a simple blue tank. It has a nice quality feel to it though. It's a little bit thicker uh, feel. I have something very similar to this that they already sent me. Um, but I th feel like you can never have enough of just like a quality tank. Um, this is a size small and I will say that their sizes are amazing <laughs> in the sense that it is more like adult sizing. So you don't have to like feel like you have to size up. Like it's right there. It's right where you want it to be. Hopefully we'll see when I try it on, right? Here's another item by Cotton Blue, kind of very similar white. I've been very into just like some crisp white pieces lately. And it it's a white tank top. That's what it is. But it has like a really pretty, almost like lace applique over the top in the front not in the back, just good quality. It is very interesting. At the bottom, the lace kind of stops and then it's just like the t-shirt material. So we'll see what that looks like on. It does feel a little bit thicker, which would be good for work, but oh, also kind of warm. Oh, this must be the dress. This is the dress by Gilly. If you hear my kids, they have new walkie talkies. So they're like having a full on like walkie talkie war. So I'm sorry. <laughs> At least they're staying busy, right? Um, okay. So anyways, this is a pretty little dress by Gilly. Wow. This is so pretty. Okay. So this just kind of goes up around the neck, has these like blue florals, white, green, um, just like a blue dress has a little, it's very just simple, but it's cute. This would be really great for just like a wedding or any type of nicer event I have going on. Um, and I don't see pockets, so we'll see what it looks like when I try it on. Unless I got the piece I wanted. Oh, this is cute. You guys have seen this before, right? How cute is this? Okay. The first time I think I saw this, I was like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that going on there, but I think this is very in style right now. So this is by Savannah Jane. This is a medium and I've seen this brand coming around Savannah Jane. Very cute. So it does have quite a bit of the embroidery up top, 
but then it has these nice long linear black and white stripes, which is fun. The one thing that I'm kind of like, I don't know, is that the embroidery comes right down the middle. I feel like they could have done without that and that would have been cuter. I still think it's very cute. Um, and I'm excited that it's in my box. All right, well, I'm gonna grab something to wear for the bottoms and jump into these things. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we are with this first top and this is the one by Savannah Jane. This is the one I was really excited about. And I'm just not sure now that I have it on. Sometimes it always goes like that, right? So let me tell you what I like about it and then what I'm kind of not necessarily loving. So I really love the structured embroidery here. Almost feels kind of like a bib, which is funny. Um, but it's just really structured and I think it gives a really cute shape to the shoulders. Um, I like the lines coming down and the difference between the two patterns. I'm, I don't really understand why they would bring these, it's a little wrinkled, sorry, these flowers down. Like, I just, I don't understand. I mean, it's cute, but, hmm, I feel like it could have gone without that. But then here was the, besides that, I probably would have keep this top, but I'm actually thinking of not keeping the top because it's very, when you go to the side, it's just very wide. I appreciate a good flowy top, um, especially after you've been camping a lot, <laughs> drinking and eating quite a bit, um, but it's almost too much. Like I'd want to almost do a front tuck because I'd want to create some shape and I just don't feel like this has a lot of shape. These are the super cute jeans they had sent me last time um, that I thought were adorable. I thought I'd pair it with that. And I think the black and the white looks good together. But just because it's almost too, like it would just, like if it was just a little bit like this, a little bit more where it kind of gave you a tiny bit of shape. Um, I just feel like it's just real flowy. So I don't know. We will see. Let's get to the rest of it. Okay, next we have this just very simple white cotton shirt by Cotton Blue. I love it. I do. It's just, it fits nicely. I like how it comes up nice and high on the armpit area. I have a bruise from riding in the wakeboard tube boating situation. <laughs> okay, um, look at the cute little flowers. Just adds a little something extra. I don't mind this little extra piece of fabric that comes down. This is what I mean by this is a little bit more structured. It's not so flowy. So from the side, you don't look so big and bulky. I just paired it with a jean skirt. I love this top. I think it's very, very nice. Nice that you can wear a regular bra with it. It has the nice thick straps. Awesome. Okay, let's go and jump into the next one. Okay, I'm here with the next two pieces I decided to kind of put together to create a look. Um, let's start with the kimono. It's cute. I really like it. I like the print. Um, being that it's not floral, since I have so much floral, it's fun. It actually has kind of like, um, if you can see that, like a fraying edge, not through all of it, maybe, yeah, not through all of it, like this is the hemmed part, but just the bottoms is frayed. I like that it's a little bit longer, and I think it's really cute, it's really light, gives you some good arm coverage, yeah, I think this kimono is really cute. Um, the top I have underneath is the other top by Cotton Blue. Um, just very simple tank. I'm going to take this off. Also has the nice um, thicker shoulders here so that you could wear any kind of bra with it, which is nice. Has kind of like the little cutout detail around the neck and the sleeve. Oh, my mirror's so dusty. I'm so sorry. Um, and I guess you could, yeah, you could do a good little front tuck, which you know me. I love to do the front tuck. It's very cute. It's very simple. So it's gonna probably depend on that three out of four um, pricing and all of that stuff. Cause I don't know if I necessarily need it, but you know what, sometimes it's nice just to throw on something like a comfortable shirt like this, not too clingy, not too bold in the summer and just be nice and relaxed. So, okay, last piece is that dress. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are with this last little dress by Gilly. 
very cute. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at it. So it has this cute little keyhole. I like the floral print. It is a larger floral, but it's not like, bam, super aggressive or anything. Um, it has this cute little tie and then it ties in the back. It has a nice conservative armpit cover, which I appreciate. Um, it's very light and flowy, which I also like. It goes a tad bit lower in the back, as you can see. It's comfortable for the tummy after you have the buffet. And I just paired it with a pair of darker booties. Don't know if I'd wear these, but I do like how the brown <clears throat> kind of pops out the flowers here. But I'd probably do a different pair of shoes. This is just what I grabbed. So I just don't know. Um, I don't know, one, if I need it. Am I going anywhere? I do have a wedding for my cousin in Austin, Texas in October. I don't know. Does this Is this October um, Austin weather dress? I don't know. But it is really cute. And it's flowy. It is a tiny bit short. Still passes the hand test. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to look at price. That might be the deciding factor. Price and the 3 out of 4, 20% discount. See those discounts? They're pretty exciting because they make you want more. <laughs> All right, let's jump into pricing. Okay, we are back and we're going to review pricing. But it is also that time where I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, people. I found this really cool thing when I was playing with my YouTube studio, trying to figure it all out. And I can see if you've subscribed or not. Not really. <laughs> if you leave me a comment, I can sometimes see if those people that left me comments have subscribed. So um, I appreciate you if you have. Um, but if you haven't, why not? It's free. I told my best friend, I was like, you have to subscribe to my channel. And then she's like, well, how much does it cost? <laughs> because she doesn't really do the whole YouTube thing. And so I was like, it's free, just hit the button. So friends, if you like my channel, if you like me and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and give me this thumbs up for this video. You can also leave a comment. I love to get comments from you guys. Okay, let's get into it. So the one thing about Natalie Attire's um, price sheet thingamabobber, it's really hard to like understand what is what. It's all like kind of written in code, let's just say. So bear with me as I try to figure out this code. I know this one, the kimono, $29. I don't think that's too bad of a price because it's super cute and you're getting it from a styling service. Do I think it's necessarily $29, $30? No, you could probably get this at TJ Maxx for like 15, maybe even 12, but I love having things sent to me. So I'm going to think about that one. And if I can do three out of four, I'll get that discount of 20%. Next is, I'm trying to understand this code, something that is navy trimmed v-neck top. It must be this one by Cotton Blue. This is $42. $42. Oh boy. That's a bit. We'll think about that. Also the other, oh, yes, this other um, top by Cotton Blue is also $42. So both of those are $42. But I think they're really good quality. So we'll keep going. Floral halter dress. I kept it on. Still thinking about it. $52. Um, $52. You guys, help me out. $52. Do I do it? Do I need it? Is it cute enough? Hmm. That's gonna be one I'm gonna have to think about as well. Cause I like all three of those. I like the simplicity and the funness of just the three pieces. So anyways, and then last but not least, the one I thought I was going to love the most, this one, um, which is the embroidered top is $54, the most expensive thing out of my entire box. Um, that's expensive. I'm not gonna keep this. I don't know. Maybe I was just too excited about it. And then it's here and I'm like, nah. so I'm definitely not going to keep that one. So I know it's not going to be five, but I want to read this to you. If it was a keep all collection. So let me go back. The total of all these pieces is $239 and 81 cents. If I was to keep everything, although this isn't, this is tempting. 
If I kept everything, it would be $152. So like, wow. So that's really good for each of these pieces. Oh my gosh, now I gotta do some math and really think about this. That's gonna be intense math. <laughs> I'm on summer break. Shouldn't be doing any math right now. <laughs> All right, well, I have some things to think about and process. I'm gonna go see that new movie, Corella, today with my kids. I'm excited. Um, thanks, you guys, so much for hanging in there, watching, listening, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.